Hello, one and all, and welcome to the darkest dungeon. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to attempt to let's play this game for my friends. Not really for a wider audience, because, you know, who wants to watch me play video games? Let's find out. So, um, I recorded a video already of me playing the intro and the first mission. However, the audio for that was fucked. So we'll try again. Uh, I'm be playing the game on Radiant because I'm not very good at it and I don't want to die right away. So um, let's call this mods too. I also installed a shit ton of mods. I don't know if they work. This button do anything? Um, enable. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's turn these all on. Because I'm a big cheaty motherfucker. I hope it doesn't crash the game. Sweet. Okay, let's try this shit. So I'm going to let you guys watch the intro because it rocks. I fucking love it. You will arrive along the old road. So good. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. The narrator is honestly one of the best parts of this game. I fear to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. Oh, so you saying the old road? We'll take it to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Oh, all the goosebumps in all the right places. Yes, Wayne June. Yes. Wayne June? Wade's June? I really have to look that guy's name up because he's incredible. Cool. So, yeah, this is the old road tutorial level. I've played it four times in the space of an hour. So I will try to run through it because I am bored as shit with this. I just hope the audio is right so I can actually post this this time. Cool. So let's go right ahead. Have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Yeah, we want to die to some fucking brigands. Sug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Okay, so he's a human target, so he's liable to bleed. So let's try and cut him open. He resisted it, but he's more likely to bleed next time if he doesn't die to this, which he did. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Money, 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 money! So that's a hundred gold to take back to the hamlet and to advance our skills with. And this curio, we're gonna have a rifle through and find. Da -da -da. Ooh, no money! Stop is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Easy. Oh god, is that watching it fucking shrek? There is much to be found in forgotten places. Ah, so they nice dodge on the blanket fire, if not. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Sorry, I didn't want to talk over him. Uh, yeah, so let's focus him down in the back with our ranged character, currently called Dismas, but I will be renaming him to something slightly more awesome, I believe. Oh! Fucking brutal crit right off the bat! Not happy about that. Yeah, this is, this is it. Let's go with the time I die. Uh, so yeah, rather than moving back, we are just going to... Actually, no, we're definitely going to move him back because I want to get rid of this guy in the background. Can't do that from the front slot! Diminished. Oh, and the punishment as well. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, right, round two. Big hits. Yes, thank you. Nope. Oh. And yeah, every time it hits us, that is less likely that we'll dodge it as well, so we are going to get fucked. Let's have to hope I take him down quickly enough. I'm doing this in the most nooby way possible. Oh. Savage. And the stress isn't great either. Not a big fan of that. Big damage. There we go. That's more like it. Now we can focus both characters into the big guy. That was the explanation about corpses. Corpses stay behind after the guy dies, which means he's still taking up a slot. So, say for example, I was aiming in the back, I'd have to take him into account as well. I am going to die. Uh, 
I would mark myself more likely to get hit, but I would get a protection bonus, not just trying to get rid of them as quickly as we can. And open vein, hopefully they bleed out. Which he will. Beautiful. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. All these goodies. Uh, we will not be going back to town. We will be continuing to adventure, even though I'm 100% sure this is trapped. Beautiful. Right, so that's the quest complete. That will take us back. And we'll also get to see if our characters picked up any quirks from that little jaunt down the old road. We've got one quirk on Reynolds. He is clumsy, less likely to dodge attacks. Fucking fantastic. So this will be your first look at the Hamlet if you haven't played the game. Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid Hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them whole bunch of quest goals I'm probably never going to get to and some roster goals oh they even have the new characters I installed as quest goals sweet roster goals rather that's awesome so usually the first two party members you get from the stagecoach are a vessel and a plate doctor but I wonder if the mods I installed have affected that in any way women and men soldiers and outlaws nope. fools and corpses all will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Okay, I want him to stop speaking so I can hear this. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? There is none. And next one. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. And I'm going to take the game's advice. I'm going to upgrade my stagecoach. More arrive, foolishly seeking fortune and glory. In this domain of the damned. Now let's rename some characters. So I will embark when I'm good goddamn ready. So Sister Battle definitely being named after my good friend Paul. What up, Paul? Uh, let's see. A lady who's a little bit venomous. My actual mother, not Paul, who is my mother, who is my actual mother, my mum. High accuracy, high damage. Mm, just from playing Dark Heresy, this definitely has to be Kydis. Although that's not even Dark Heresy, but that's not the point. And medieval, clumsily, kleptomaniac, god fearing. Who do I know that's a bitch? Beautiful! I'm sure he'll love it. Excellent. So uh, we also have the graveyard, which shows us where everyone has died, and we have the Ancestors Memoirs. Let's just review cutscenes and the like, but seeing as this is just a tech demo, I'm going to stop after doing the old road and name my characters, and if this works, then we were straight into recording the first adventure. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later. Bye.